now drawing to a conclusion with construction of the Mose High Water Protection System. Since the beginning of the 20th century, Venice has sunk by 23 centimeters due to the combined effect of a rise in sea level and a drop in land level. High waters are becoming ever more frequent and intense, causing serious inconvenience to inhabitants, significant damage to architectural heritage and degradation of the lagoon environment. The highest tide was reached in 1966 with 194 centimeters. In December 2008, the water rose to 156 centimetres, the fourth highest level ever recorded. In the future, the problem of high waters will worsen due to the predicted rise in sea level as a result of the greenhouse effect. As a response to this situation, the Water Authority is constructing the Mose system, which together with raising of the quaysides in urban areas and reinforcement of the coastline, will enable Venice and the lagoon to be kept safe from the violence of the sea. Mose is being constructed at the lagoon inlets of Lido, Malamocco and Chioggia. It enables the entire lagoon area to be protected from high tides up to a level of 3 metres and from a rise in sea level of up to 60 centimetres at least. Mose consists of a series of mobile barriers enabling the flow of water between the sea and the lagoon to be regulated reliably and flexibly. The gates are normally full of water and rest in their cursons in the seabed in the inlets. In the event of danger, they are filled with compressed air, causing them to rise up out of the sea and block the tide entering the lagoon. When the tide drops, the gates return to their cursons. To prevent interference with normal port activities while Mose is in operation, a large lock has been constructed at the Malamocco Inlet to allow the transit of large ships. Similarly, locks for fishing boats, emergency vessels and pleasure craft have been constructed at the Lido and Chioggia Inlets. Work on Mose began in 2003 and should be finished by 2014. Work is continuing in parallel at the three inlets. Mose represents an important opportunity to improve the landscape and functionality of the inlets and the coast as a whole. Operational management and control of Mose will be based in the old Venice dockyard, the Arsenale, the heart of the naval knowledge and traditions of the city. The new functions of gate and service vessel maintenance and system management will be located in the north part of the Arsenale. In the North Arsenale, the Venice Water Authority has restored the 16th century buildings in order to make them functional again, and work is underway to improve the area occupied by the dry docks. The revival of the Arsenale through the Mose system represents a concrete opportunity for socio-economic development in the name of knowledge, quality and innovation. Venice and Italy will have a centre of excellence 
research and production in the ever more topical sectors of marine technology, environmental protection and sea defence. The majority of the environmental reclamation measures are concentrated just a few hundred meters from Venice at Porto Marghera, the major petrochemical center constructed between the 1920s and 1970s. A continuous succession of factories, depots and plants built on 2,000 hectares of land progressively removed from the lagoon. Land obtained by covering salt marshes and shallows with tons of material of all types, including industrial and solid urban waste. The industrial discharges and pollutants released from the land at Porto Marghera have left deep wounds in the ecosystem, poisoning the water and the bed, and they have left a heavy legacy. This emergency called for action on a number of levels, New regulatory instruments have been drawn up, systematic environmental controls have been introduced and, above all, a programme of measures has been implemented with the collaboration of all the main bodies concerned. Through the Consorzio Venezia Nuova, the Water Authority is responsible for preventing the pollutants from spreading from the soil and former dumps delicate, complex work whose results are there for all to see. Today, banks in the industrial area are delimited and isolated by continuous metal sheet piling. The flow of pollutants from the land into the lagoon has finally been stopped. Securing of polluted sites is the essential prerequisite for sustainable industrial development and environmental improvement. <laughs> 